हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ईसी एकेडमी इन दिस लेक्चर लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड सिग्नल्स सिस्टम्स एंड सिग्नल प्रोसेसिंग फर्स्ट लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड द डेफिनेशन ऑफ सिग्नल ए सिग्नल कैन बी डिफाइंड एज एनी फिजिकल क्वांटिटी दैट वेरीज विथ टाइम स्पेस और अदर वेरिएबल सो इट इज ए फिजिकल क्वांटिटी दैट वेरीज विथ रेस्पेक्ट टू टाइम स्पेस और अदर वेरिएबल्स जनरली वी कैन से ए सिग्नल इज वन दैट कन्वेज इंफॉर्मेशन सो सिग्नल विल कन्वे सम इंफॉर्मेशन ऑल्सो सिग्नल कैन बी डिफाइंड एज ए डिपेंडेंट वेरिएबल ऑफ वन आर मोर इंडिपेंडेंट वेरिएबल फॉर एग्जाम्पल वी हैव टेकन एन लीनियर इक्वेशन विच कैन बी गिवन एज एस वन ऑफ टी दैट इज इक्वल टू फाइव टी सो दिस इक्वेशन वेरीज विथ रेस्पेक्ट टू टाइम टी सो हियर वी आर हैविंग एस वन विच इज डिपेंडेंट वेरिएबल विच इज डिपेंडिंग ऑन एन इंडिपेंडेंट वेरिएबल टाइम सो दिस फंक्शन विल वेरी विथ रेस्पेक्ट टू टाइम सो हियर वी हैव टेकन एस वन ऑफ टी इज इक्वल टू फाइव टी विच इज ए लीनियर इक्वेशन दैट वेरीज विथ रेस्पेक्ट टू टाइम In the same way, we have s two of t that is equal to twenty t square, which is a quadratic equation with varies with respect to time. So this equation varies with respect to time. Again, s two is dependent variable, which is depending on independent variable t. So whatever signal we get, that is depending upon time t. we have one more example where s of x comma y is equal to 3x plus 2xy plus 10y square so this represents a signal with two independent variables which are known as spatial coordinates so here x and y are known as spatial coordinates so here s is depending on two variables x and y so one dependent variable depending on two independent variables so these are the examples of signal so we can define signal as a dependent variable which is depending on one independent variable or more than one independent variable so we can define signal by functional relationship that represents complex and requiring representation by multiple sinusoids so we can define signal by functional relationship that is complex and also requiring representation by multiple sinusoidal signal for example we can take speech signal there are naturally available signals which we call that as natural signals for example we have speech signal that contains amplitude frequency and phase we have electrocardiogram which is ecg that provides heart condition information we have electroencephalogram which is eeg that provide brain activity information so these are the examples of naturally available signal now let us understand signal source and systems the signal source represents the origination of signal so from where the signal originates for example if we take speech signal the source will be vocal cord so we can define system as a device that process the signal so the system will take the input process the input and it will give some output so it is a device that process a signal for example if we take filter so these filters are used for noise reduction so the system is filter that take the noise as input and it will reduce the noise and it will give the output so the signal processing concept will depend upon the system operations like linear system that will process signal proportionally so the linear system process the signal proportionally 
Nonlinear systems will process the signals in complex manner. The example of signal processing can be operation that includes the filtering of a signal, enhancing the information, etc. So these are the examples of signal processing. The digital signal processing uses software systems that use algorithms to perform operations. For example, filtering of a signal. So the digital signal processing system can be a software system that uses algorithm to perform the operations. So example is filtering of a signal. It can use hardware systems that uses logic circuit for physical signal processing. So hardware system uses the logic circuit for physical signal processing. So these digital signal processing system may combine hardware and software for efficient processing. So for efficient processing, they can combine both hardware system as well as the software system. So algorithms in digital signal processing. So algorithm defines the rule for signal processing. So algorithm is a code that defines the rules for signal processing. So here efficiency is the key focus in digital signal processing. So efficiency is the main focus in digital signal processing that should provide the algorithms that are computationally fast and easy to implement. So efficiency is obtained by considering the algorithms that are computationally fast and easy to implement. The important topics in digital signal processing are filtering that are used for removing the noise and enhancing the signal quality. So filtering are used for removing the noise and enhancing the signal quality. Correlation and spectral analysis are used for analyzing relationship and frequency components in a signal. So these are the important topics in digital signal processing where we are using the filtering to remove noise and enhancing the signal quality and correlation and spectral analysis that are used for the relationship and frequency components in signals. This is about signals, systems and signal processing. Hope you have understood the topic. Thank you.